Hi folks, this is uh, a devotional that I'm going to give to you today and hopefully you will be encouraged by this time and I encourage you. Uh, you know what, uh, I, I drive a van once in a while and I'm in my office right now and, uh, and I also deliver these bags to people and says, thanks for coming to church Linda, you know the last, or Saturday, whatever, and we deliver those to them. And Dave Simpson's going to be taking over that responsibility here pretty soon. So he's going to go with me tomorrow and we're going to, or today, and we're going to visit some folks and share, uh, sh share the bags with them. But, uh, you know, I was thinking about, I drive the van once in a while, whenever they ask me to, but whatever. If they need some help, I'm, I'm here to do it, whatever. I'm a utility guy. They just do whatever they want me to do and just point and I just, I'm there. And uh, so I drive the van once in a while. This one guy, Frank, he said, you know what? He said, I am going to feel so bad when we, when, when Pastor Rob has finished. He said he has finished the, this last uh, uh, Sunday. He finished uh, Daniel, his, his dive into Daniel uh, series. And it was so good. And we enjoyed that so much. And <clears throat> he said, you know, I have really enjoyed those messages about Daniel. And uh, the seventh age of Daniel, of course, we've referred to that many times in our messages uh, because it talks about the last days and then the last days. But anyway, it's good to be a part of such a, a such a, a church that preaches the word of God. And Pastor Rob does such a good job on that. It made me think about this old song that I think it was the Imperials or somebody that sang it. Uh, it was a gospel quartet. And they sang, it won't be a uh, Mohammed that's, no, it won't be Buddha that's sitting on the throne. And it won't be old Mohammed that's calling us home. And it won't be Harry Krishna that plays that trumpet tune. And I'm going to see the sun, not Reverend Moon. You know, some of you don't even remember who Reverend Moon was. I think he was a Buddhist or something, but anyways, weird dude. Anyway, uh, I think he thought he was God or something, but uh, we're going to see the sun. Aren't you glad about that? We're going to see the sun, Lord Jesus Christ, when we get to heaven. And so I encourage you today to be looking forward to the rapture, to looking forward to the day when you are going to see Jesus face to face, and he's going to know you, and you're going to know who he is think about all these pictures that people draw, you know, and things and the, the artists and depictions of Christ and, and the, the chosen and all that stuff. He's not going to look anything like that. Who knows? I don't know what he's going to look like, but we're going to know that it's him. We're going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that's the Lord Jesus Christ when he comes again. And he's going to rapture us from the east. And whether I'm in the, involved in the rapture alive or whether I'm dead, uh, the dead in Christ shall rise first and join together with our heavenly bodies. Anyway, uh, we're going to be excited about that. And I am going to see the sun, not Reverend Moon. We're going to see the sun, Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you today and make you a blessing. Do something good for somebody today. Okay. God bless you.